Imagine throwing a tennis ball against a solid wall. You expect it to bounce back every single time, right? But in the strange world of quantum physics, particles don't always follow our everyday rules. Sometimes they don't bounce back. Sometimes they go right through the wall. This isn't science fiction. It's called quantum tunneling. And it's one of the most fascinating, counterintuitive, and essential phenomena in modern physics. Without it, stars wouldn't shine, life wouldn't exist, and many of our most advanced technologies would never work. Today, we're diving deep into quantum tunneling, what it is, why it matters, how it fuels the stars above us, and the devices here on Earth that rely on it. Before we get too deep into this topic, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. This helps to bring more valuable content to the platform for your knowledge and understanding. Remember, knowledge is power. Now back to the episode. To understand tunneling, let's start with the classical picture, the everyday rules we're used to. Imagine a ball rolling up a hill. If it doesn't have enough energy to reach the top, it rolls back down. That's classical physics. Energy is king. You either have enough to get over the barrier, or you don't. Now zoom into the quantum world. Replace the ball with an electron. Replace the hill with an energy barrier. Classical logic says, no crossing without enough energy. But quantum mechanics doesn't play by classical rules. Instead, quantum physics describes particles not just as solid objects, but as wave functions. Ripples of probability spread through space. And here's where it gets wild. Those waves don't just abruptly stop at a barrier, they extend into it. The thicker or taller the barrier, the more the wave fades, but in many cases, a faint ripple continues on the other side. And if that ripple survives, the particle can suddenly appear on the far side as though it had tunneled through a solid wall. It's not breaking the barrier. It's not squeezing through a crack. It's probability itself leaking across. The idea of quantum tunneling emerged in the early 20th century when physicists tried to explain phenomena that classical physics simply couldn't. In the 1920s, George Gamow, a brilliant Russian physicist, used the tunneling idea to solve a nuclear mystery, radioactive alpha decay. In alpha decay, a helium nucleus suddenly escapes from inside a much larger atom. Classical physics said it was impossible. The particle didn't have enough energy to climb over the nuclear barrier holding it in. But Gamow realized that if you treated the alpha particle as a quantum wave, there was a tiny but real chance of it appearing outside the barrier. This was the first time tunneling was used to explain something observed in nature, and it worked perfectly. Soon, tunneling went from being a strange curiosity to a central pillar of quantum theory. If you've ever looked at the night sky, you've seen tunneling in action. The energy that fuels stars, including our sun, depends on it. Here's the puzzle. Stars shine because of nuclear fusion hydrogen nuclei slamming together to form helium, releasing enormous energy in the process. But there's a problem. The positively charged nuclei repel each other with incredible force, the so-called Coulomb barrier. At the temperatures inside the sun, the protons simply don't have enough classical energy to overcome this barrier. By classical physics, the sun shouldn't be shining. But quantum mechanics steps in. Thanks to tunneling, Protons can cheat their way through the Coulomb barrier, merging even when they shouldn't have the energy to do so. It's like the particles find a shortcut through the laws of nature. Without tunneling, the sun wouldn't burn, fusion wouldn't happen, and the universe as we know it wouldn't exist. In fact, quantum tunneling doesn't just power our star. It powered the very formation of the elements, seeding the universe with the building blocks of life. Tunneling isn't just cosmic, it's also at the heart of modern technology. One of the most important devices built on this principle is the tunnel diode. Invented in the late 1950s by Leo Isaki, the tunnel diode relies on quantum tunneling to conduct electricity in ways classical devices cannot. Unlike normal diodes, tunnel diodes allow electrons to tunnel directly through an energy barrier. This gives them unusual electrical properties including extremely fast switching speeds. 
That's why tunnel diodes were used in some of the earliest high-speed electronics and why they're still relevant in microwave and quantum technologies today. Another tunneling-based invention is the scanning tunneling microscope. This groundbreaking tool uses the tunneling effect between a sharp metal tip and a surface to map materials atom by atom. Without tunneling, we wouldn't have this window into the quantum world or the nanotechnology revolution it inspired. Even in modern computing, as we shrink transistors down to the scale of just a few nanometers, tunneling becomes impossible to ignore. At these scales, electrons don't care about barriers the way we'd like them to. They sneak through, causing leakage currents that challenge engineers to design chips that are both smaller and efficient. In short, tunneling is both a powerful tool and an engineering headache. Quantum tunneling doesn't just challenge engineers, it challenges our very understanding of reality. Think about it. Tunneling means particles can appear where they shouldn't, without the classical energy to get there. It's not magic, it's math, but it forces us to rethink what it means for something to be impossible. It also raises deep questions about determinism. In the quantum world, outcomes aren't guaranteed, they're probabilities. Tunneling reminds us that reality at its most fundamental level is not rigid but fluid, smeared with possibility. To ground this, let's return to that tennis ball. If you threw it at a wall a billion trillion times, quantum physics says that, in principle, there's a minuscule chance it might one day tunnel through. Of course, for macroscopic objects, the probabilities are so absurdly small that you'd be waiting longer than the lifetime of the universe. But at the tiny scale of electrons and protons, the odds are big enough to matter. That's why tunneling shows up in atoms, in stars, and in silicon chips, but not in your everyday life. So where does tunneling take us next? Researchers are already exploring tunneling for quantum computing. Where controlling quantum effects is key, there's also interest in tunneling transistors, which could revolutionize energy-efficient electronics. And who knows? Just as Gamma unlocked nuclear decay and Asaki opened the door to new electronics, the next leap might come from someone who finds a way to harness tunneling in ways we can't even imagine yet. Quantum tunneling is one of those ideas that feels impossible, yet it's woven into the very fabric of reality. It explains how atoms decay, how stars shine, how we can see individual atoms with microscopes, and how our technology keeps advancing into the quantum frontier. What began as a strange mathematical quirk turned out to be one of the most important physical phenomena in the universe. A reminder that the quantum world is stranger and more powerful than anything we could have imagined. So next time you look at the sun, remember, it's not just burning hydrogen, it's quantum tunneling lighting up the universe and keeping us alive.